A YouTuber named Leviathan has an old barn in the woods where scary noises have been coming from late at night. Many sleepless nights later, he works up the courage to take a friend with him to investigate the strange sounds coming from the haunted barn in the woods. When he goes inside, he finds that the barn is not haunted like he thought. It's something way worse than that. Would someone tell me what this is, writes Leviathan. It's an unknown creature sighting to him, but I've seen enough scary videos to immediately guess what it is. The Rake. He lets the scary creature have the barn and doesn't go outside for two months until one night he hears it making scary noises in the woods, much closer this time, as in right by his house. Against his better judgement, he takes an old busted flashlight outside for a final creature sighting he'll never forget. Crouched behind a tree making hideous hissing clicking sounds is the rake, the same creature he caught on camera in the barn. He keeps a respectable distance but it's not far enough. Who knows how fast this thing can run, especially on all fours. Luckily for him it hangs back in the forest and lets him run home. Both of these videos were taken in 2020 and seems to be part of a new wave of rake sightings from all over the world. High quality videos of the rake, like this one, are cropping up all over YouTube and they are not grainy at all. Hopefully this new rash of creature sightings is a video editing trend and not an indication that mysterious creatures are creeping out of the woods. Creepy, right? Blake Newdorf is fishing with his dad on a pier in Kelowna, BC when he sees a giant creature off in the distance, at least 60 feet according to his estimate. Blake is sure that this is the famous Ogopogo Lake Monster. Apparently it has some kind of sharp scales from what he says here at 1 minute and 13 seconds. It looks like it has spikes. The camera is not good enough to pick up much detail aside from a basic outline. I think it kind of looks like it could be a piece of driftwood, but I guess at 60 feet long it would have to be a whole tree. Whatever it is, it floats around the bend where the water channels into a small bay. According to Blake, when they went around the corner to follow it, it was suddenly gone. Unfortunately, by that point, they had for some reason stopped recording. If what they are saying is true though, then this couldn't have been driftwood. This giant snake is so long that it takes a full 20 seconds to record its full length, and when the camera person finally reaches the other end of the snake, they suddenly become prey. The reptile is already facing them and looks to have been waiting for them for the whole time. The camera person only has a few scant moments to let out a startled yelp before the reptile lunges straight at their face. Check out its color and markings and leave a comment saying what kind of snake you think this is. I'm hoping we can figure out what part of the world this took place in and if the snake was venomous, in which case I doubt this person survived. Crazy EVPs and spiritual mists run amok in the haunted Skinner's Tavern. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Paranormal Purgatory writes, We captured what looks like a spirit trying to manifest in the doorway. They also captured some insane dialogues with the beyond as they attempted to communicate with the spirits inside this haunted place. See for a little bit. See for a little bit. See if we can hear anything. After an EVP translates a spirit whispering, All pretty I am. A partial manifestation is caught in this doorway. Button. 
Right in the middle of the entry, you can see a trace of a ghostly mist as the camera pans round. The Redditor doesn't appear to notice it in the moment as he calmly asks the house at large if he can get a drink. Don't blame him, he's probably going to need a drink again when he plays this back. If you didn't like going to school, this video will validate your feelings. Posted to YouTube by Alan Ubeek in June of 2018, the uploader writes, The ghost of the Victoria School Lagoon was captured on CCTV yesterday at 9am. A man is sweeping the floor, minding his own business, when about 10 feet away, two items which look like standing dustpans glide across the room, moving from one side of the path to the other. No one else is around. The strange thing is that the man cleaning just watches this happen, but doesn't react whatsoever. Maybe he's all too familiar with the Victoria School ghost. Who or what is playing here? Is it something that can be explained? Or is this school undoubtedly haunted? Folkloric creature is insanely creepy. Published to YouTube by Romeo Candid in November of 2007, this clip claims to show a real Maninagal. Some info on this mythical creature. The Maninagal is a traditional and mythical Filipino creature that's likened to a vampire or a witch. The details of this horrible creature's prey are even freakier. It is said to prey on pregnant women, especially those who are sleeping. New lovers or newlyweds are also prime targets for the Maninagal, which is said to have been abandoned at the altar. Now onto the clip. The video shows a group of people just hanging out in the dark, shining their flashlight everywhere. There's nothing for a while but darkness. That is, until everyone starts screaming as they see this ghastly female creature with black hair and greenish skin appear at a short distance. <laughs> The creature turns to them as they cry out in horror. Many in the comments are rightly freaked out by this. YouTuber Andrew Gibbons offers a first-hand account of the Maninago folktale saying, Well, one thing I know for sure that I heard from an elder is that it's an old folktale to keep kids out of the woods at night time. YouTuber Chow Size 01 adds, Some say that they heard it flap its wings while they're in their houses, but who knows, it might just be a bat. He also says that some truly believe that these creatures are real. After watching this video, D. Julie, Kelly, Emily, and Liz are the ghost moms, a paranormal investigation team from Kansas who are mothers by day and ghost hunters by night. The team has a unique ghost hunting style that I've never seen before. Aside from bringing a variety of equipment, they also use positivity and a motherly appeal that makes the paranormal feel comfortable enough to communicate with them. Tonight they are extra scared though because the ghost moms are exploring an abandoned haunted prison at the Missouri State Penitentiary, a place where their motherly charm is not particularly useful. As they peer down a long dark hallway, scary ghost noises beckon them from within. It's really scary not being able to see anything but through the camera. Here it is again with a sound up, the supposed creepy voice caught on tape. It could be a ghost EVP, or it could be something else like a bat flying away. It's hard to say which. They set a motion detecting paranormal equipment in the area where they heard the noise and apparently are able to convince a ghost to come out of its cell. Can you touch that ball? Oh, well. Touch the light if you live here. Oh, thank you. Okay, let go. Oh my gosh. A scary loud noise from another cell demands their attention, and so they place a music box on the floor to see if anything is there. Why is it speeding up? It's speeding up. It's not stopping. It's really strange. It's, it's really weird. They are scared because somebody has to be turning the handle to make the music play faster. And as you can see, none of the ghost hunters are near the object. It goes faster by itself. You guys are doing that. Oh, the rim pot's going off, oh. Julie. 
Red just went off. Their equipment detects a ghost in the hallway when none of them are anywhere nearby, so that's bizarre to say the least, if not paranormal. Maybe it was a rat running by, but I think we all know it was probably a spirit. After the ghost mom split up to go exploring each haunted prison cell for more paranormal evidence, one of them hears what they think is a scary whispering voice, followed by a fit of laughter. Was it an EVP, or was it one of her fellow ghost hunters? Any sport can become a contact sport if you let your guard down, even fishing. Bumping into this antenna is the only reason this large wahoo fish didn't nail him and it's a good thing too. That whipping tail is probably powerful enough to crack something and the fins are likewise razor sharp. I'm sure they had a good laugh after they calmed down, but at the same time this could have been more serious and they're miles away from help. In Toy Story, the toys come to life in a charming manner when the kids are away, but when it happens in this video, it's more chilling than charming. Originally posted to TikTok by Oscar Ferlin, the video shows a Woody doll standing upright on the kitchen counter with one hand on a can. Noticing that a human person has entered, the doll glances over at him before dropping his hand, going stiff like a board, and falling over backwards into the kitchen sink. Although it truly does look eerily real, some claim it's an animation, while Redditor Anna Cabana says the dolls are designed to fall over in this manner when hearing the phrase, someone's coming. Regardless of whether it's an animation or the toy's design, I think we can all agree with Mythical Gamer 9 who writes, Eh, it looks a bit too real, still very creepy, definitely not a toy on my wish list. This Ghost is Hungry, published by Pilot Error Podcast in December of 2020. This woman was finally able to capture on camera what had apparently been happening for a while. After hearing a noise in the kitchen, she grabs her camera and waits. That's when she sees this. The cupboard is opening just a little bit at first, then it opens a little wider, and then, instead of running away from the spirit, this woman runs toward it. And once in the kitchen, things get worse. Is this poltergeist just inviting everyone to dinner? And will you attend? Should be an interesting enough meal. <laughs> when a drone drifted over the residential area in Overland Park, two boys on bikes spotted it overhead, and that's when they jumped off their bikes to have a go at it. You can see one of the kids pick up something, which is presumably a rock, in order to ready aim and fire at the drone, but it's much too high to actually knock it down. The kids follow it for a while, but don't come close enough to truly threaten it, although they do make a valiant effort to do so, chucking a rock or two its way. Eventually they give up, but the drone doesn't. It continues to follow them for a good eight minutes, with the boys getting fed up enough every now and then to stop and throw more rocks. Certainly a scary encounter for both parties involved. A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera, but then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time, like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's f***ing at the mouth. 
Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression, so we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. Could that flicker of light you see fast past be someone's soul? Published to YouTube by Tomato Superman to the Ghost subreddit. This security footage from the Golden Cross Weather Spoon in Broomsgrove in the UK shows just what happens in old haunted places after dark. The security footage reveals a strange, iridescent pink light flash around the corner and down the hallway before vanishing. Tomato Superman says that he's a skeptic but admits he found this odd. He writes that the place has been closed for three weeks and that the alarms had gone off, which is why staff came in to check it out. This is what happens in the recording that seems to set off the alarms. He said the security system also started to break down immediately after. Many in the comments aren't sure what to think either, although some lean hard into the spirit world. And could this be something similar? A spirit making its presence known in this place? It certainly doesn't look like your everyday dust orb. Sonny Deeds and his friend CJ venture onto this abandoned military base in its haunted trail. First they hear what they think are voices. Yeah, what the, uh, yes. I don't know. That's that's what caught my attention. Was that voices? Because you, when you turned around and were looking back that way, uh -huh. I was doing the same thing. I heard whatever you heard. A little further down the path, again they hear something. Oh, huh? is that you making noise behind us? Uh, no, I was talking, but I wasn't making any noise. What'd you hear? And then they feel something. Yeah, we're almost back to back. What the is that? What? Sunny sees something, and in the background, you can hear what sounds like growling. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Then they hear footsteps and then a strange growling noise. Dude, I hear somebody walking and it's not our freaking footsteps. Okay, can And finally, this sends them running. Yeah, it's just weird, dude. It's weird out here. Just the whole history of everything. Like I said, it's supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh my God! I can't see. I can't see. Something cracked in the forest, and as Sunny turns left, you can see some strange lights there. Watch it again. Oh, <laughs> Did you see them? I think they may be lights from whoever is following the guys, or maybe they're just reflectors on some fences. It's hard to tell, but the noises are a sure thing, and they're unsettling. This exclusive video was submitted by a redditor named Babe of the Dead on the Chills Narrator subreddit. While lying in bed making a random video, she hears four knocks late at night. She looks up in time to see her life-sized stuffed bear apparently come to life. The bear is square against the wall with no room for anyone to sit behind and move its arm. Some people say it's a spirit. Well, one person suggested that a person could fit inside if they took out the stuffing. Which is super creepy considering Babe of the Dead has no idea who it could have been. Who do you think it was? I have no idea aside from astoundingly scary. While filming some footage in an old hotel corridor for a project, Redditor I am not the problem captured something unexpected. Look for the pale blobby thing floating in the middle of the hallway. Did you see it? 
The Redditor says it's not a bug, and they weren't wearing any reflective jewelry. Still, Redditors have some plausible theories. The more I watch the clip, the more I logic my way toward the mirror hypothesis. Jan Flink heads to a crumbling cluster of haunted cabins in his home country of Finland. His flashlight cuts out six times as soon as he reaches the back of the first cabin. He is still holding it though, so maybe he is doing it himself. Up in the attic, he finds this strange setup, a single bowl on a makeshift sleeping area made of thin wood. Only one shoe is never a good sign. He goes outside and his flashlight starts messing up some more, but look behind him right before it does. Um, should I just say bye? Um, or see you again in next video. Bye. A woman in red with long black hair is looking at him. It wouldn't be too hard to fake this, and the fact that nothing happens for 44 minutes until the very end of this video makes me suspicious, but Jan Flink claims that this is the spirit of a woman who had a bad encounter with a bear in 1964 and passed away. It's been years since the video was posted, and as far as I've been able to research, he never said it was fake. This video is from a camping trip that Emery Buckner and his friends took back in 2010. After introducing each of his friends by name, something catches Emery's eye. He zooms in on a small clearing in the woods that's just up ahead, and that's when he sees it for the first time. Guys, what is that? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's... What's what, really? Seriously, guys. There's I, really, I seriously saw something over there. Tom. None of his friends manage to see it, but Emery encourages them to stay still and keep looking. Then, sure enough, the red glowing eyes return. Guys? What? Oh my god. What is that? Oh my That's god. it. That's it. I t oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, what is it? They waste little time retreating to their boat and speed away to safety, but just before they take off, Emery catches the creature a final time. It's now casually observing the group. While perched in a tree, its head cocked to the side, its faint outline barely visible behind a pair of glowing red eyes. Something is haunting this house, or at least that's what David Stenberg thinks based on his dog's Astrid's odd reaction. Sometimes he's fine with going into this bedroom, and sometimes he acts more like this. What, what is the matter? What is the deal? Listen again. There's a really shill scream that makes the dog recoil. I'm already convinced this could be a ghost, but this video is 100% real in my opinion. Based on what I'm about to show you next, I don't care how well you train your dog, there's no way to make him look up at you with a concerned expression and then get surprised. David tries to show Astrid that nothing is there by stepping inside, but Astrid is having none of it. I think his dog is telling him, in no uncertain terms, to get out of there now. Let me know if you agree. Astrid, you're freaking me out. Come here. Come here. A strange creature sighting was caught on camera, moving fast along the Powell River in BC, Canada. The unknown creature was seen by many, but only one witness, a man named Oscar, was fast enough to have captured video evidence of one of the scariest moments of his life. He fully admits what he saw on the lake haunts him to this day. He saw it coming from half a mile away, a mysterious figure moving fast underwater. He says by the time he ran into his RV camper for a camera and came back, it was already moving past him, so he only caught but a few mysterious and unexplained moments on video. On one hand, this does look like something strange and mysterious slithering just beneath the water's surface, like a gigantic sea snake. 
On the other hand, this video looks like something getting pulled by a boat, a tow line perhaps. The fact that you only see the last 17 seconds is kind of suspicious, but would make sense if he had to run and get a camera. It all depends on how much you believe him. Oscar goes on to explain that this lake is 1,200 feet deep in some areas and was once connected to vast, ancient glaciers where deep sea channels could have once led to mysterious and unknown creatures. Perhaps this unexplained video is one of these deep sea creatures coming up for a visit. It sounds like an interesting legend, but I think I would need more video evidence than this to fully believe it. And trust me, if I find more videos about the monster of Powell Lake, I will be sure to analyze them. In the meantime, tell me what you think of his bizarre sighting, especially if you have any idea what this unexplained video could be. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.